Yo, what's up guys? Welcome to this new video. Today, I'm gonna teach you how to create this design step by step. This video here is a little bit different from the usual one since I will actually talk you through what I'm doing specifically for like all the shortcuts and all the things I'm tapping on the keyboard since some people want to start out and don't know how to use Photoshop that well. Let's get started. Here we are in Photoshop. So first thing first, when you open Photoshop, you want to just select a good canvas with a good resolution to create a really nice graphic. So you need to opt for a 300 DPI, so 300 resolution. It's the basic one to create and even to print the design. And then you want to open the canvas. I usually go with a 300 pixels for 300 pixels just because in this case here, since I'm making this challenge of creating one graphic per day for 30 days, I usually prefer just to create a canvas, which is uh, really good for presenting the work directly for Instagram and for Instagram posts. So what I'm doing now is that I drag and dropped the image that I wanted to use. I found it on unsplash.com. There you can find a lot of images which can help you create the best design possible. And of course, all these images are really high resolution. And so it's really nice for that reason. Now what you're basically gonna do if you want to do something similar to my design is to just remove the background to just have a simple main subject design so how can you remove the background well you can find two three easy steps and there are even more ways to just delete the background if you have the last version of photoshop you just gotta click the remove background feature on the right and then if there are some imperfections you can just remove them or add the other parts by using the pen tool as i'm doing right now or if you don't want to use the remove background since maybe you have an older version of Photoshop or the remove background feature doesn't work that well, you can just use the pen tool, which you can find in that box there in red, which I just highlighted. And then from there, you need just to highlight all the image that you want to use. And from there, you, you just need to click on the top part and click mask so that you can mask the layer. It's really easy to use this method, even if you need to be really, really careful and select only the parts that you want to use. And I suggest to take it slow and highlight really carefully all the different parts of the outline of your main subject. So now that you remove the background, it starts the main idea and main uh, brainstorming for what to do next basically so in this part here i wanted to add uh, some marble on the bottom part of this sculpture but i didn't like it so then we can just move forward to the second step so if you have a statue you will need uh, if you want to create a really cool design you will need to remove all the imperfections uh, color wise so basically removing with the camera raw filter which you can just open the camera raw filter by clicking filters and then camera raw filter should pop up there in the menu tab and so then what you're gonna do is to create and messing around with exposure saturation and stuff like that you will need to remove all the color imperfections which uh, will transform the statue into a really black and white statue that as you can see is more recognizable as a statue rather than a photo of the statue let's go through what filters i added on this sculpture so i just messed around with color mixtures especially saturation and uh, exposure just to match and add a little bit of depth of the statue here you can see the before and after results as you can see of the two psd files so this is really the best version of the statue possible since there are only two colors and they're actually the colors of a statue afterwards we are going to add the, the word that we will need to randomly extract from a word online generator just because it's what we're doing every day for 30 days for this challenge the word was uh, magnitude so we are going to create a design with the word magnitude so now it's time to add all the other parts of the design 
now what you basically did is that you added the main uh, let's say concept the main outline the main subject of this design now it's time to fill a bit all the gaps so what you can do is to grab some text get a font in this case many of you are asking me what fonts i use this is monument extended i really like it and i started using it at the start of this channel here so it's been a while and i love it every time and then what i did with the font is that i clicked uh, the curve the text feature which is highlighted right now with the red box uh, that they added here now and uh, i just uh, selected uh, what i wanted basically to create now i'm gonna add the high magnitude uh, the two letters high with with h and magnitude with m in the bottom part in the background of this design i will put them in one color just to differentiate and add uh, one to two colors for this design to make the background hm letters pop up more i decided to double click on the letters and go and add some stroke by clicking and adding the stroke it will be black and i just adjusted a bit the size of the outline also for some graphics it's nice to put a lot of colors but for this graphic since it's a tattoo i just suggest to put as little color as possible just to match maybe the statue vibe which is black and white and add a contrast color in this case orange in the bottom part now what i'm doing is that i added with the shape tool i double clicked the shape and changed it to a circle in the shape tool menu bar and uh, i just uh, created a circle from there i rasterized the layer of the circle and just cut out using the lasso tool the parts that needed to go under the statue so i created this really nice 3d effect as if the circle was going down was going in the background and at the same time on the front of the statue is a really nice effect that i used it in other graphics so if you want to use it i did like this you can do something like this also if you want just to remove some imperfections of the lasso tool you can use the eraser which you can find it again in the menu bar and it's really helpful if you need to smooth even other things out such as maybe you did an imperfection a really small imperfection into removing the background of the main sculpture you can just use the eraser tool a little bit to smooth the edges or also you can just remove uh, parts of the background that were not removed uh, if you used maybe the photoshop background remover feature now the things that i'm doing now is basically just messing around with shapes and trying to create some sort of uh, original and new kind of design and i suggest to do the same since you should just enjoy even creating a graphic and just messing around with stuff but to have fun and even just to practice new skills every day so if you're just starting out the first key suggestion i have for you while i'm just playing around with text here is to actually practice and maybe make one design per day i'm actually doing this in this channel here one day for 30 days creating one graphic per day for 30 days and uh, i think that it will help you create new kind of graphics and will help you just start things up and create a base layer for your photoshop skills that you will need to create other graphics come to life now it's time to add what i like to call the space filling technique which is basically adding some text which describes what you want to tell with the graphic just in a place where you need something to complete the design and to make it more complex and so here i just uh, grabbed a random sentence which has to do with magnitude and just plugged it in inside the photoshop paragraph file just to make it more complex and more streetwear and of course it adds even a meaning to the graphic so now that we basically finished uh, pretty much everything i just need to tell you some other tricks to just complete the graphic and make it the best possible it's time to display the graphic on a mock-up 
in this case i can't i can't i'm sorry share these files here for the mockups but just stick around since i'm creating a new mockup a new t-shirt mockup which will be pretty fire so stick around for that so summing all things up uh, here's the final result with uh, the grades uh, that i added uh, just to self-reflect on it uh, Thank you very much for watching, subscribe, I'll catch you tomorrow with a new video, bye bye.